Today, we're going to talk about the BBC Microbit, a microcontroller that uh, last year was distributed to over a million students in the UK. And it's designed by a consortium of a large number of companies, Microsoft, uh, Samsung, and BBC has taken the lead. Uh, and since it's been distributed in such a large scale, it's gone down in price. So the cost of one of these is about 15 euros. Mm -hmm. Um, and what makes this microcontroller on this circuit with a lot of sensors on it really interesting is that it's got quite a lot of different aspects to it that uh, makes it really interesting for education. Uh, what would you say, Nils, are the most sort of interesting factors of the microbit? Hmm? Uh, well, first of all, uh, you can program uh, this chip, so you get to decide what will happen uh, around the, the microbit with all the inputs and outputs it has. Um, then, with all these sensors that are included, uh, uh, you actually don't need much more than just this. Uh, you can get very, very far. Uh, if you want to, there are accessories and uh, electronics you can connect to, but you don't have to, uh, to get started. So, already on this circuit board, there's a lot of sensors, which means that I can uh, program it and have things happen on it without sort of having to purchase a lot of different things. It's sort of plug and play. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, the programming of this, uh, this micro bit is also very easy to do. There are uh, a lot of different uh, ways to do it, a lot of different uh, programming languages and a lot of different editors you can use. Uh, so you can uh, find the level that fits you or your students. If so there's... In a classroom. there's as I've understood it, there's a range of different um, editors from block programming, such as you would find with Scratch, for example, mm -hmm. and up to uh, full proper coding languages like Python or C++. C++ even. even. Yeah. So you can start very simple and uh, very easy in quite a young age. And as you progress and learn more, you can still use the same platform. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, you spoke about accessories as well. There's a, you can sort of add stuff to it, mm. I guess, as well. Mm. Yeah, that's true. There are a bunch of different accessories which we will show in different videos. Um, another great thing with the microbit is that it's uh, uh, licensed as open hardware and software. And this means that uh, other companies uh, or other persons even can make uh, these microbits produce them, sell them, but they can also make different variations or build upon it, or for example, make uh, other software that you can use with it. So, so it would be possible for me to, if I would want to, to make my own editor for the microbit yeah. if I had some particular need or interest in it. Yeah, exactly. So I guess we'll see quite a lot of uh, accessories and also different kind of coding environments for it as time progresses. Mm -hmm. So this is the BBC Microbit. It's a fascinating small thing for the educational landscape. And we'll talk a bit more about it in uh, future programs, uh, look into this a bit more in detail. Yeah. So this is the BBC Microbit.